Hey, traveler, Paimon. Oh, Paimon knows that voice. Over here. To borrow one of the more popular turns of phrase at the moment, this appears to be quite the fated reunion. Running into you two out of the blue like this has really made my day. I certainly wasn't expecting it. You can say that again. What brings you to Poisson? Wait, Paimon's got it! You must be here for one of your magic shows, right? Um... Actually, we've run into a bit of trouble on the home front, so Father arranged for us to stay in Poisson for the time being. Oh, are Lynette and Fremenet here too? Yep, along with most of the other members of the House of the Hearth. You may have noticed Poisson seems a bit more... crowded than usual. So you're saying nearly the entire organization has moved to Poisson? Sounds like you've run into way more than just a bit of trouble. What's really going on? Um... well... Since the two of you are so curious, perhaps I can fill in the gaps. <gasps> you scared Paimon half to death! Father, you're here. Um... you know... <laughs> on second thought, maybe we don't need to know? It's all probably super confidential House of the Heart stuff, right? We totally weren't trying to pry or anything. No need to be nervous. I could sense your genuine concern from your conversation just now. Of course, I can also understand your confusion. Sending so many Fatui here to Poisson, it's only natural that some might suspect an ulterior motive to be involved. I understand. I'm well aware you've had your fair share of confrontations with the Fatui in the past, and I can't exactly guarantee that we'll remain on good terms in the future. As for right now, however, I would say we have little reason to be at odds, wouldn't you agree? The House of the Hearth could stand to be more open with those who have worked so closely with us in the past. As for the issue at hand, well, it hardly relates to any ulterior motive. To be frank, it all stems from a certain rumor circulating around the House of the Hearth. It's an internal matter. What sort of rumor? A rumor that a certain phantom child is hiding away in the House of the Hearth. A phantom child? Who just hearing the name is giving Paimon the creeps? A spirit that should have long ceased to exist is lurking in the shadows of the House of the Hearth. So I decided to bring the children to Poisson before continuing to investigate the situation. I expect I should be able to track down the spirit fairly quickly. After that, it's just a matter of resolving the situation, if you will. It shouldn't be much trouble at all. If you're curious, or if you still have some concerns, it might be advisable to stick around for a few days. I'm sure the children would be exceedingly pleased to welcome some visitors. Lenny, I'll leave you to entertain our guests. I have some matters to attend to. Of course, Father. has long been a dream of mine to invite you to our home and introduce you to my other siblings. You're quite well known in the organization already. A lot of people have been talking about you, especially after everything with the prophecy. If you're willing, why don't you stay a while and have a little chat with us? Hmm. All right. We don't have anything else to do right now anyway. But let's be clear, we're just gonna be there as guests, okay? Don't get any funny... Oh, wait a second. For your guests, that probably means we'll be treated to lots of yummy food, right? Of course. During our stay in Poisson, we've been helping out the locals with some fishing. We bring in quite the bounty every day. In fact, today is the perfect chance for me to show you what I can do in the kitchen. Let's go. I'll take you to where we're staying.
We rented this house from one of the locals to use as a temporary base. I'll come back later and tidy up a bit. After that, it should be all ready for you to stay in tonight. Awesome! Thanks! So, where are we off to now? Well, when I happened to run into you two earlier, I was actually in the middle of distributing some supplies. With this many people staying in Poisson, we have to bring in outside supplies every now and then. I should probably make sure the rest of these provisions get delivered, otherwise people might start to get antsy. Okay, we'll come with! There are all sorts of rumors about your organization floating around out there. Paimon's not sure if she could even take a wild guess as to what's true and what's not. But now that we finally have the chance to see a day in the life of the house, we can take a good look at how you operate! Well, you're more than welcome to come along. Just follow me. Linny! You're finally here! The supplies. I'm assuming you've... Brought them with me? Yep. Here you go. Uh... Hello? Something caught your eye? It's the Traveler and Paimon! No way! Come here, everyone! Hurry! The Traveler and Paimon are here! One at a time, please. Don't crowd around them all at once. We don't want to scare off our guests now, do we? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Gotta say, Paimon didn't realize we were this famous. <laughs> of course. Father and Linny have told us so much about you. Father told us about how you helped Linny. According to her, you're a trustworthy friend. And as far as she's concerned, that's pretty much the highest compliment we've ever heard her give. As you can imagine, everyone's been very curious about you. I heard the Traveler is so strong that she can move a mountain with her bare hands. I heard Paimon eats so much that she can clean out the entire pantry at Hotel Tabor in just three days! Wait a second! That's the rumor you heard about Paimon? Oh, not cool at all! Oh, wait! When guests visit, you're supposed to give them gifts and stuff, right? Oh, we don't need something like that. Besides, we don't have anything to give to you! Come on, we insist! I can give you some of my new potions. Just pick your poison. And by that, I mean medicine or actual poison. I've got both. Huh? Or maybe Shaplo can teach you guys about stealth! He's super good at it! He's never been caught! Ah, oh, now that's not a bad idea. I know you usually prefer to fight head-on, but it never hurts to expand your bag of tricks, right? When it comes to eliminating your enemies, staying quiet can go a long way. Trust me, I would know. I was poisoned not too long ago, and I'm still dealing with the after-effects. So I'm not quite as good as I was before, but I could still give you some pointers. Um, wait, uh, when you said gifts, I didn't think you meant poison and stealth tactics. But those are the best things we can give you. You don't like them? Ooh, how about this? Tell me the name of someone who really annoys you, and we'll teach them a lesson for you. All right, Fold Selwar. I think that's enough suggestions for now. When it comes to being a good host, it's the thought that counts. You don't need a physical gift to make our guests happy. In fact, pestering them with suggestion after suggestion might make them more annoyed than anything. I would say your enthusiasm has certainly gotten across. Really? Awesome! It's been so long since we've had guests to play with. If there's anything you need, just let us know. Yeah, especially if it's poison or something. I've got all sorts of potions for that. <clears throat> well, we'll talk to you all later. We've still got supplies to distribute. 
All right, see you later. Scared you, did it? That kind of talk comes with being part of the House of the Hearth. When Foltz was really young, he strangled all of his family pets. Just out of curiosity, he was labeled a dangerous problem child and was abandoned by his family. Elwar has an unnatural obsession with potions. Father has forbidden her from trying all the different concoctions she comes up with, but she still tries to test them in secret. You really have to keep an eye on that one. Chaplot is around my age. While I'm mainly responsible for collecting intelligence, he handles surveillance. He's very passionate about his work and has no reservations about taking on some very difficult missions. I know you two probably aren't used to that kind of talk, but I can promise you they only had the best of intentions. Things like stealth tactics and developing different poisons, they really mean a lot to them. They were just trying to share the best of what they could offer, that's all. Filial, supplies are here. Thanks. And who are these two? <gasps> Outsiders? Ah, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, you're the famous duo I've been hearing so much about. It's nice to meet you. I heard you've traveled to all sorts of places. Is that true? Of course! We're making our way all across to that! Oh, good for you. You must be pretty familiar with Fontaine by now, then. Have you seen the new opera that started running recently? I think it's called... Uh, the Four Thousand Thieves? Oh, this is the first we've heard of it. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. Uh, from what I've been able to tell from the posters, anyway. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you have the time. Oh, and there's The Blind Maiden, too. That one is supposed to have audience interaction. Seems pretty interesting. After this mission is over, I think I'll go get a manicure. Oh, uh, maybe I should dye my hair. Hmm, wonder how much it'll cost. Um, is it just Paimon, or do these two seem much easier to get along with than the others? Looks like the House of the Hearth has some normal members after all. <laughs> I heard that. Oh! Uh... Oops. <laughs> I'm guessing you're referring to Foltz and the others? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not all like them. I bet those crazies are practically foaming at the mouth right now. <laughs> I'm sure they just can't wait to get back to Snezhnaya to carry out the plan. That's enough, Filial. Ah. <sighs> Don't talk about family members behind their back, right? Uh, whatever. Let's go. Um, guess this is goodbye then. If you ever have some time, we should go see the opera together. <sighs> well, that's it for the supplies. We should probably head back as well. Well, they didn't seem too happy with each other. Seems like there could be something more going on here. You're right. We're only here as guests after all. Oh, uh, Linny's getting super far ahead. Come on, let's catch up! So... What do you think of the members you've met so far? <laughs> well, Father is always encouraging us to be strong-willed and independent. So if there's one thing we've got, it's people who aren't afraid to speak their mind. Well, I should probably get cooking. Wanna join? Of course! 
Then let's head out and... Uh-huh. Fremine, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, well, um... Fremine, nice to see you again! Oh, uh, you too. I heard you're here as guests of House of the Hearth. Welcome. We were just going to make some food. Why don't you come along? I could use some help in the kitchen, and I seem to remember you mentioning you wanted to make seafood soup for the Traveler and Paimon. Mmm, seafood soup? Oh, Paimon's drooling already. <laughs> Were you looking for something just now, Fremine? Maybe I can help. Uh, it's nothing. I just wanted to see if there were any extra supplies. Yeah, we've got some left over. What do you need? Some food and water. And some clean cloth, if possible. No problem. Give me a second here. Food, water... Wait a minute. What do you need all of those for? You're not on any missions as far as I'm aware, and you were just going to come eat with us. So what's this all about? I... Uh, I thought I'd grab an extra portion because I get hungry at night. Could be because I'm growing, you know? And... Uh... Fremine, you remember what I told you? You're not like me. Your lying skills still need some work. <sighs> Tell me what's going on. Is it really bad enough that you have to keep it from your own brother? Um, maybe it'll be better if we gave them some space. Uh, <sighs> huh. This is the first time I've seen that kind of look on your face. Whatever happened... Does it have something to do with father? Yes. Just follow me. Hello, my name's Linny. I grew up in the House of the Hearth. And you are? Hi, Linny. I'm also a child of the House of the Hearth. Just like you. You can call me Clairvy. Clairvy? It's nice to meet you. Does that name ring any bells, Linny? No, not at all. That's not a name we have on our roster, I'm sure of it. What I'm not sure of, though, is how she managed to sneak in. She must be the phantom child Father's been searching for. From the looks of it, I'm guessing you were the one that found her, Fremine. You, uh, haven't told Father, have you? No, I haven't told anyone. I've just been keeping her hidden. For how long? About half a month now. So ever since we got to Poisson then, do you have any idea what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Really? Cause from where I'm standing it looks like you're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. You know the rules of the house, Fremine. I know you do. Father doesn't tolerate any form of betrayal. So why are you doing this? I've thought it through. And I just can't hand her over like that. Linny, don't you remember last year? Sheplow nearly died after getting poisoned during that one mission. He wasn't able to get back before the poison started taking effect. And not a single person was there to help him. That night, while I was sleeping, I heard a voice telling me to go save him. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't find the source of the voice. I thought maybe I was just hearing things, but I went to look for him anyway. Luckily, 
I got there with enough time to save his life. That feeling of being haunted, of hearing voices. It's happened many times in the House of the Hearth. I'm sure you've noticed. So what you're saying is, that was her? She was the one who spoke to you that night? Unless there are other spirits roaming around the House of the Hearth, I don't think there's any other possibility. If Clairvy were our enemy, it wouldn't matter whether she was a spirit or an actual child. I would have acted without a second thought, because that's what Father ordered us to do. But she's been living with us, helping us from the shadows all this time. I think that makes her family. I couldn't just hand her over to be dealt with. Not when there's so much we still don't know. So what's your plan then? You can't keep her here forever. Someone is bound to find out eventually. I... haven't thought that far yet. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. But I also don't want to put Clairvy in danger. Come with me. There are a couple things I'd like to say to you in private. Those two sure care a lot about each other. <laughs> well, they got a funny way of showing it. From where Paimon was floating, it sure seemed like they were about to bite each other's heads off. No way. They have a really deep bond. I could tell right away, because I also have a friend like that. I just don't know how long that kind of bond can last. The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. I'm sorry, Liddy. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Oh, really? You didn't mean to? Cause I for one wish you did. Huh? What do you mean? You know, when we were younger, you didn't call me Linny. You called me brother, just like Lynette. We grew up together, the three of us. We were all orphans, all rescued by father. Of all the siblings in the House of the Hearth, I think our bond was the closest. Later on, when you started calling me Linny, I wasn't actually surprised. After all, Lynette and I are related by blood. We've had to depend on each other to survive long before we joined the house. Linny, I... The darkest and most difficult moments of my life happened before you and I had ever met. I'm sure that's true for you as well. Even so, Fremenet, we've stood by each other for all these years now, and to me, that means more than blood. You and Lynette are the most important people in my life. No one can replace you. So I won't let you face anything alone. Not if I can help it. Oh, looks like things are getting kind of heated between Linny and Fremenet. Maybe we should go check on them. I should put my clothes away. Mary? Huh. Looks like she's not here either. Everything's fine. Thanks for asking. Well, we're all friends here, right? We've been through so much together, so if there's anything we can do to help, just say the word. It's just a small family dispute. It's not something our guests should trouble themselves with. In fact, it might be better if your stay ended here. Uh, what are you getting at, Traveler? When guests are around, Families are often on their best behavior. And any disputes are less likely to escalate. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? I... just... 
Thank you. I was really hoping to keep you out of it. But even if I could think of some other reason to turn you away, I'm not sure I could convince you. I know things could turn dangerous, so I promise you this. From now on, I'll protect you like my life depends on it. Me too. Well, back to the matter at hand then. If we don't plan on handing Clairvy over to Father, then our only other option is to solve the mystery of her identity before Father is able to track her down. That means finding out where she came from and what she's doing here. Then we can send her on her merry way and pretend like none of this ever happened. I've tried that already. And? And... nothing. I tried taking her somewhere really far away, but... After some time, she just reappeared. She even came with us all the way to Poisson. It seems like wherever the house is, she follows. Hmm... I don't know much about spirits. Do you two have any ideas? I... let's see here... Oh, I... Uh, Paimon remembers hearing something like... If you fulfill a spirit's last wish before they die, they'll let go of whatever is keeping them here and return to the ley lines. Oh, it's just that Paimon doesn't really remember where she heard that, so... So, it's not guaranteed to work or anything. Well, sounds like it's worth a shot. Guess that means we should go ask her about her wish. But first... Fremenay, I need you to promise me something. What is it? I need you to promise me that this will stay between the two of us. We're the masterminds behind this whole thing. No one else gets involved. Can you do that for me? Of course. I promise. All right. Then let's seal the promise just like when we were kids. Fist bump on three. Ready? One, two, three. I, I swear. swear. Whoa! Lynette! But what a surprise! <clears throat> what brings you here, dear sister? And, uh, when exactly did you get here? You're an idiot, brother. Um... And you too, Fremenet. Uh... You three, Traveler. And you four, Paimon. Wait, what did we do? I've seen Clairvy around the House of the Hearth before. I hadn't seen her in Poisson, so I figured she must not have come with us. But it turns out... You were just hiding her. I heard you talking about your plan. Rather than steering clear of the situation, I'd rather fully join in. If you don't agree, I'll have no choice but to report everything back to Father. Simple as that. <sighs> You're not giving us much wiggle room here, Lynette. Well, I guess we're all in this together then. After we talk to Claire V, we'll figure out our next move. There's no time to lose. Let's go. Ah, I'm full. Thank you for bringing me this food, you guys. Um, she said she's full, but the food doesn't look like it's even been touched. That's right. Based on what I've been able to observe, it doesn't seem like Clairvy can interact with the physical world at all. Still, when she's presented with food, she'll always linger around it for a good little while. Maybe, in her mind, she really is eating those things. Does she know that she has already passed away? I've tried to ask her, but she didn't answer. My guess is that she's just as confused as we are. 
Or... Maybe she couldn't understand the question at all. Clairvy, if you've got some time, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Oh, another new friend. Hi, I'm Clairvy. Hello. Clairvy, how did you join the House of the Hearth? Huh? Isn't it the same for everybody? The knave brings you here, and then you can't leave. It's just that... your name... it's not on the roster. And I've never seen you before. The roster? Oh, I get it now. I think there might be some things you don't know about this place. The people in charge... they're not as nice as they look. They say they keep a roster, but it's not complete. There are a lot of people who aren't on it, and never will be. In this house, some people are family, and other people are just test subjects. Those kinds of people aren't ever going to get a place on the roster, unless it's the roster of people who've been executed. Wait, does, does that mean the name... she... Is there anyone that can vouch for you? Mm. Perry, she's my best friend. She's the only one I trust in this place. Have either of you heard of that name before? No. Me neither. Clairvy, Perry... Neither of those names are on the roster. But it seems like she's telling the truth. Either that, or this kid's already got a bag of tricks bigger than mine. Hmm... Maybe we should try a different approach. Clairvy, do you have a wish? A wish? It can be anything you want. Just imagine. It's your birthday, you're blowing out the candles, and your wish is... To... to go outside, where the sun can find me. That's... it? Well, that sounds easy enough. The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. Okay, time to divide and conquer. Listen up, I've got a plan. I'll try and find a way to use basic illusory magic to take Clairvy outside and bring her somewhere with sunlight. Lynette, try and find the list of executions that Clairvy was talking about and see if her name is on it. Fremenet, you stay in Poisson. We can't be the only ones who've had run-ins with Clairvy. I need you to collect intel on everything she's said and done. Understood. I'll try my best. What about us? What should we do? I really appreciate your willingness to help, but this is a family matter. I don't want to drag you in too deep. It's too risky. Let me think. Since Father considers you to be guests, maybe you could stick by her side for a little while. You don't need to do anything except keep up some nice, casual conversation. Ah, Paimon gets it. You want us to distract her. I'll give you a magic bird. If Father suspects something, all you need to do is release it when she's not looking, and it'll alert me that something's wrong. Of course, that's only as a last resort. If Father doesn't seem to notice us, there's no need to make contact. We'll reconvene here tonight after all said and done. If the worst-case scenario happens and we're discovered, just tell Father everything. We're not going to let our guests get punished for our own actions. That's where we draw the line. You too. Okay, this is where we part. Father should be at the beach nearby. I 
I really hope this goes well. No. It has to go well. That's the only way this can get resolved. Clairvy, I'd like to take you somewhere. Is that okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> 